From my viewpoint, we came out of the locker room very flat. Um, we found out at halftime we probably would lose uh, Raymond for the rest of the game and possibly the rest of the series. So it seemed like the guys were a little bit down and we lacked the energy, the intensity going into the third quarter. I'm, I don't know for sure how much they were affected by the news, but it seemed to affect them going into the third quarter. They never did a good job of jumping on top of us immediately, taking advantage of it, and taking, taking control of the game. He's having an MRI taken right now at Makati Med. Let's hope that's not the case. But when I talked to him at halftime of the game, he couldn't move his leg. And being a former, <coughs> former player myself, that's never a good sign. Uh, I'll try to be as positive as possible, and hopefully he'll be OK. But from being a player myself, uh, having a swollen knee in the middle of a championship series is not something you can just bounce back from that easily. I thought Travis Jackson came off the bench and gave us a lot of energy and hit a few shots to help us get back in the game. But we didn't display that energy from the start of the third quarter to the end game. And that was really the problem. Because of what happened, you know, we just have to try to make as many adjustments as we can, just in case we play without Raymond, and be ready in the next game. Our biggest concern, obviously, <laughs> is the fact that when Raymond's not around, you saw what happened with Jaffet, right? He pretty much ran wild out there in the court. So what he has done this conference is given us an opportunity to match up with the big men of the other teams. And without him, we almost had a little bit of a hole in the middle. So we just have to try to find a way to camouflage it or at least try to fix it. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.